Hey guys, it's Tom Blue Bricks here, and in this video, I'll be discussing what LEGO sets to invest in for, 20, for 2021 and 2022. Uh, so first, we'll start off with the 2020 uh, LEGO sets. So if you want to invest and make money from selling LEGO, first of all, the LEGO sets, majority of them are on sale now. Um, I'm not sure if the 501st Battle Pack is going to go down in price. Um, the lowest I've seen it is so far $24. Maybe check Walmart. Um, next couple of days or weeks, maybe the price will drop. But the 501st Battle Pack is a set I think you should invest in. It's a smart idea. It, the minifigs are um, wanted and the chances of getting them again... Um, in a set like that, like with a lot of them, is I don't think it's likely. Uh, the second set I think you guys should get is the AT, um, is the Droid Tank. I forgot exactly what it's, how, um, the exact name of it. But that one you should also get, um, since it comes with a 332nd Trooper. Now, since we're getting an Ahsoka Trooper in a $20, uh, an Ahsoka minifigure in a $20 set her value has gone down now so and also there might be a chance we get an Ahsoka Trooper battle pack maybe I'm not saying it's gonna happen it might happen if that happens then I would say the tank is not the best thing to buy but there's no way of knowing that and just to be safe, maybe you pick up like two of them. Don't invest too much money in them because you don't know. Um, the next set of the wave is the Obi-Wan Hut. Now I'm saying this because the Obi-Wan Kenobi series is coming out. And most likely Lego might not make an Obi-Wan like his house for those for that TV show so that TV show alone will make that that set most likely will go up in value I've seen it just like the Captain Rex um, when the new Clone Wars came out and the Ahsoka they went up like crazy just because the, uh, the new ser uh, the new um, season came out they went up in price so I would assume that set would go up in price just because of the TV show I might be wrong but I'm I'm like half and half on that one so maybe you buy one or two and the next set that you should buy is the Battle of Mustafar which is also a good set I don't think you should invest so much into that and the next sets that I would say the more expensive sets um, I would say you should buy the, the Resistance X-Wing. It went down like 20 bucks in Walmart. Now, I don't know if they're going to make them again. They probably will in the future, but most likely not um, anytime soon. So I would say buy that one, buy the Resistance Y-Wing, um, and buy... Um, Buy um by Kylo Ren shuttle and by um what else uh oh and by the Millennium Falcon since it's coming with uh it has um figures that are most likely will be wanted you don't have to but I would say those sets you should buy um for summer twenty twenty one I would say this this ship right here that you should buy when it goes down in price if i go down to like forty dollars maybe sometimes even walmart has great deals maybe it'll go down fifty percent this set you should pick up like five of them because the figures i don't think you will ever see these figures again maybe uh bo katan but uh uh, Gar Saxon, most likely not, and that trooper, 
the Mandalorian that's in there is actually I I actually see him. He shows up and he's not a random Mandalorian. He actually is in the TV show. Um, he's in. He shows up in season five. When um, Pre Vizsla uh, finds Darth Maul and um, Savage Press uh, floating around in space. You could actually see him. He shows he is one of the he's one of the main um, Mandalorians, unnamed Mandalorians. So just for these three, this is the this has three rare figures for a cheap price. You should pick up at least five or six of these. If you have more money, pick up more. This is gonna be worth you know. This is gonna be a good one. Um, next, I would say for this wave, you should buy. Um, the dual a Mandalore set just because it comes with um, Darth Maul and we might get him in another set but I doubt it I don't think we're getting too many um, season 7 Clone Wars sets we might get one more and that's it because since Bad Batch already has pretty much uses it uses the same vehicles I don't think I think they're just gonna not a lot of times Lego just Knocks two birds with one stone and makes a set from both sides. But instead of getting a Clone Wars, you get an Imperial version of something. But it's officially Clone Wars, so it really doesn't matter to them. So I say that. Um, so I say most likely we're not gonna get that figure again. I would say you should get it. You should get a few of those also. And uh, I would say also to get the the slave one because i mean the slave one i would say it those two figures okay one figure you're always gonna get you're gonna get a hundred times over and you probably already have like five of them um because he's so so the actual mandalorian figure the value of that figure is not gonna be a lot since there's so many of them um i would say the one and the boba fett that's in it is also gonna show up again because they just made the book of Boba Fett. So I would say just get maybe one or two of those. Just because it's a slave one. That's exclusive to the TV show. Uh, the Mandalorian TV show. I say maybe get one or two of them. I wouldn't say invest too heavy in that. Um, maybe I'm wrong but I, I don't think so. Um, the next set I think you should get. Is the Mandalorian Forge. And that one I say you should get because it comes with two exclusive minifigures. The set itself is okay, but it's just about the figures. Remember, sometimes it's about the set. Most of the time it's about the figures in the set. So those figures, you will most likely never see. I don't. Maybe you'll see them in the future, but you probably won't see them for a while. Because I don't know what big what role they play. So I mean, they played a big. They didn't really play a. They played like a sort of major role in the end of the Mandalorian season one, but they haven't appeared since. So I would say, get those, get that one, maybe get a few of them, maybe get three or four. The set to get the most of is this one. Remember, invest in this one. And um, I say the Imperial shuttle. I don't know. Um, maybe get one of them if you really want to. If it goes down in price, maybe get one. With that set already, it comes with three figures we got already. Um, Fennec Shan and the Dark Trooper are the only things that would draw anyone to buy this set. But we might get Fennec Shan again since she's in Bad Batch. There's a likelihood of getting her. We most likely will get either her ship or um, or Cad Bane's ship and I'm assuming if they make a set of any of those people's ships we most likely will get Omega in one of those sets with together with them I, I, I'm, I'm guessing it's gonna be Fennec Shan either Cad Bane's ship or her sh or her ship together with Omega in one set and that alone that set I would say buy also because I doubt you're ever gonna get again um Cad Bane ship. 
you don't we got Cat Bane twice. He's a very rare figure, and that said I would say pick up if it ever comes out. Um so what else do we have for twenty twenty one? Um, let's see. So we um Oh, okay. The next set I would say get one of is the Bad Batch Shuttle. The build, um, I haven't built it yet, but I see it. It's not the best ship. Um, people, I would say just get it because it's the only set you can get all the Bad Batch in. But most likely we will get these characters again since the show is, gonna, is going to the second season. So the value of these figures are not going to be so much, but... And this might not even be the last time we see the Bad Bad Shuttle either, so I don't know. Um, remember when they remade uh, Kylo Ren Shuttle, they made it the wrong color, and then they remade it the right color. So I think it's going to happen, that might happen for Bad Bad Shuttle. Um, so I would say don't go crazy in buying a lot of these. Unless you want to, I don't, I don't know. Maybe one, just one. Since the show is not like a discontinued show. This show most likely would go into three seasons or four seasons like Rebels. Um, so I don't think you should worry about that. And uh, that's it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what your thoughts are. Maybe I'm off. Maybe I'm not. Have a great day, guys.